Did you know that the U.S. Seawolf-class submarines are so stealthy? They can operate more than 800 feet below the ocean surface while producing less noise than a baby whale. Designed for silent warfare, these submarines are practically invisible to traditional sonar, gliding through the depths like phantoms. For decades, this edge and undersea stealth has given the United States Navy a quiet but overwhelming advantage. The Seawolf class is the apex predator of undersea warfare, designed during the Cold War as the ultimate counter to Soviet submarines. Only three were built, but their impact is far-reaching. Powered by nuclear reactors, they have virtually unlimited range. Their hulls are strengthened for deep dives. Their propulsion systems eliminate cavitation. They're equipped with sonar-absorbing tiles and decoy launchers. In the deep ocean, they are as close to undetectable as any man-made vessel can be. And that's precisely what worries China. As tensions rise in the Indo-Pacific, the U.S. Navy continues to deploy Seawolf and Virginia-class submarines to strategic locations near China's coastline. These missions range from intelligence gathering and electronic surveillance to simulated strike planning. If war were to break out over Taiwan, for example, submarines would play a critical role in blockading Chinese ports, targeting naval movements, and launching long-range missile strikes. Their ability to operate unseen gives the U.S. a strategic trump card, one China has been desperate to counter. For Beijing, tracking U.S. submarines isn't just a tactical goal. As part of its effort to deny American access to its near seas, China has launched a multifaceted campaign to crack the code of submarine detection. The strategy spans the seabed to space, and now even taps into physics that submariners once thought impossible to weaponize. At the heart of this effort is China's expanding underwater surveillance system. Nicknamed the Great Underwater Wall, it combines fixed sonar arrays along the seafloor with towed arrays on ships, mobile drone sensors, and autonomous underwater vehicles. The system stretches across choke points like the Taiwan Strait and key regions of the South China Sea. Using passive acoustic listening, it seeks to detect even the faintest underwater disturbances, mechanical hums, pressure signatures, or unusual displacements in the water column. But sonar isn't the only tool in China's detection arsenal. China has deployed synthetic aperture radar satellites that scan vast ocean areas for subtle surface changes. These include thermal anomalies from submarine engines, or even minute disturbances caused by wake turbulence far below. Infrared and optical sensors, while less useful in rough seas or heavy cloud cover, provide additional cross-reference data to identify suspicious underwater activity. Meanwhile, China's naval air wings increasingly rely on aircraft equipped with magnetic anomaly detection systems. These sensors detect disturbances in Earth's magnetic field caused by the presence of large metallic objects, like submarines. Their range is limited, but when paired with data from satellites, sonar arrays, and drones, they form part of a layer detection net. To tie it all together, China is using artificial intelligence and big data platforms to fuse these disparate signals into a real-time picture of ocean activity. Massive data sets are parsed by machine learning algorithms trained to spot patterns a human operator might miss. If an acoustic anomaly lines up with a faint magnetic field spike and a radar-based surface disturbance, it might signal a submarine. And that submarine might be American. Still, for years, even this multi-domain network struggled to track the Seawolf. Until recently, in late 2024, Chinese researchers from Northwestern Polytechnical University published a breakthrough study in the Journal of Harbin Engineering University. They described a new method of submarine detection, not using sound or heat or movement, but by exploiting the magnetic fields generated by submarines' wake. This magnetic wake, unlike noise or temperature signatures, cannot be masked. It's an inherent byproduct of water-ion interaction with Earth's geomagnetic field disturbed by the passage of a massive metal object moving at speed. The study, led by Professor Wang Hongla, modeled how various factors, speed, hull width, depth, affect the intensity of a submarine's magnetic signature. According to their findings, a Seawolf-class submarine moving at 24 knots and cruising at 30 meters depth creates a detectable field of up to 10 square nanotesla. That's well within the detection range of China's current airborne magnetometers. What makes this discovery so critical is that magnetic wakes persist. Even after a submarine passes, the water it disturbed continues to carry its magnetic fingerprint. In other words, a seawolf can slip by unnoticed, 
but leave behind a trail that can be followed. By analyzing the shape, intensity, and decay of these signatures, Chinese systems may even estimate submarine trajectory and velocity after the fact. This technique is especially effective in shallower waters, precisely where conflict is most likely to erupt. The Taiwan Strait, for instance, averages only 60 meters in depth. It's long been assumed that American submarines could sneak through this corridor and launch drones, missiles, or special forces and support Taiwan. Now, that assumption is being reevaluated. The implications are enormous. If magnetic wake detection proves viable at scale, it could fundamentally shift how navies operate near contested regions. The U.S. may have to withdraw its submarines farther from Chinese shores. New stealth technologies may need to incorporate magnetic suppression systems. The entire doctrine of submarine-based forward presence could be rewritten. China isn't betting on one method alone. Magnetic wave tracking is being integrated into a broader kill web, a term used to describe a defense network that connects satellites, drones, sonar buoys, manned aircraft, and AI processing into one coherent system. This web doesn't just react, it hunts. If any one sensor detects a possible submarine, the system repositions assets to triangulate and confirm. The end goal is simple. No unknowns beneath Chinese controlled waters. All of this raises urgent questions for American strategy. The U.S. has long relied on the assumption of undersea invisibility. If China can now see what it couldn't before, then key pillars of U.S. deterrence, like rapid response strikes and deep sea surveillance, could be compromised. Planners at the Pentagon are reportedly exploring counter-countermeasures, from magnetic cloaking to deeper diving hulls and even quantum sensor spoofing. Meanwhile, China continues to test and expand. Autonomous underwater vehicles equipped with directional magnetometers now patrol critical transit zones. Hypersensitive buoys dropped from low-orbit satellites float along known submarine routes, relaying real-time environmental changes. New satellite constellations with AI-enhanced analysis sweep thousands of square kilometers of ocean every hour. It's a surveillance blanket that's getting tighter by the month. Further analysis reveals that emerging acoustic masking countermeasures and quantum-level submarine detection techniques may also play a crucial role in the next evolution of underwater warfare. These developments will not only focus on detection, but also on real-time classification, identification, and cross-domain response across naval, cyber, and space-based platforms. In the coming years, nations may invest in intelligent ocean infrastructure, where detection is automated, threat classification is AI-driven, and human decision-making is reduced to reacting to pre-verified threats. Such systems could either prevent war or cause one before diplomats even get a chance to intervene. While the Sea Wolf and its successors remain marvels of engineering, even marvels of limits. And in a world where physics, sensors, and data converge, the days of guaranteed invisibility may be over. But here's the controversial part. If China can reliably track America's most elite submarines, what else can it see? Covert drone deployments? Underwater infrastructure? Cables? What if this technology isn't just defensive, but the beginning of a new offensive paradigm? In a war over Taiwan, would magnetic detection allow China to preemptively neutralize American undersea threats? Would the mere risk of detection be enough to force U.S. subs out of the battle space altogether? And perhaps most provocatively, what if China has already tracked a sea wolf and just never told us? Let us know what you think. Has stealth warfare entered its final chapter? Can the U.S. maintain naval superiority if its subs are no longer invisible? Will this new detection method spark a full-blown, AI-powered undersea arms race? We want to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and stay subscribed for more.